Hi, this is Chuck Martin. We're here in Mason, Ohio, about a half hour away from Cincinnati, depending on traffic. Uh, with me is the CEO of, of Rice Aero, of Nick McCoes. Welcome. Thanks, Chuck. Glad to be here. So we have a personal flying vehicle here. Tell me about this. What is what is this? So, so this is a uh, an ultralight aircraft, and uh, what you're looking at here are six independent propulsion modules with carbon fiber propellers, independent systems, so that if a motor goes out, uh, this thing will continue flying. If two motors go out, it can still land to the ground safely. That's the reason we have a six propeller configuration as opposed to the traditional four uh, with contra propeller systems. And this will take off and land from water somehow? It will. So it has a three float fuselage system with outrigger floats and it's uh, designed to stay inflated when you take off and when you land in and out of water. And where would a person store this? Well, it's big. Yeah, they can store it in the garage. It fits in a traditional garage. It fits on a traditional trailer. Uh, so you can store it wherever you want to store it, really. Is it heavy? It is not. It weighs uh, about 300 pounds, uh, and uh, it's pretty easy to move around. We have a kit that you put on. A single operator can move the vehicle anywhere they want them to take it. So a person comes in here. This is a one-person vehicle. It is. So they, a person they gets strapped in here. Yep. They come in. They sit in. They strap themselves in, put the system down, key up, and they're ready to go. So tell me about these joysticks. Is that all that's needed to operate it? It is. So the left joystick is a up and down joystick and a side to side in this particular configuration. The stick is forward, backwards, and sl sl slide to the left and slide to the right. And what is the screen for? The screen is a touch screen screen. It's a display. It tells you how high you are, what speed you're going at. If there's any status messages. It tells you which mode you're flying in. Uh, so it's, uh, it's designed to provide you with everything you need. And it's actually a backup to the joysticks. If the joysticks fail, you can still fly by the screen. So if you're up in the air and something goes wrong and you let everything go, what happens? You just sit there stably. It just, it just hovers? It just hovers. You know, for you, you know, being in it, there's even wind. It's going to sit there and it's going to correct itself. And what if something goes really wrong? How do you, you quickly land it? You simply take the left stick and you pull it all the way back and it will bring itself all the way to the ground safely. Um, and then what is someone going to do with this? Well, there's going to be a lot of different use cases for this particular vehicle. Uh, it can be used used uh, for agricultural markets. It can be used by ranchers. It can be used by government. What, what would, a, say, a farmer do with this? Well, a farmer can do this. is actually multi-purpose for a farmer. Obviously, it's a reduced crop compaction. It can be used to fly over crops because it has such a wide uh, berth when you're, when you're flying over it. It pushes crops back so you can see into the ground, identify fungus quickly. Uh, you can be able to go places. You can fix your drainage tile. So like a drone, can only let you visually see what you're looking for. This you can inspect without knowing what you're looking for, but then you can also land and fix things. It can also be configured as a spray drone and be used for spraying. So you've been doing this for a while and you have some other versions over here that I see that are like version one, version three? Yeah, this is version 3.1 uh, is this version. And uh, this is actually a pre-production version. This is pretty close to what the production vehicle will be as we start building the production vehicles in the first half of next year. So is the big year for these things 2024? It is. 2024, this will be coming out and being delivered to our customer base in full quantity. So where does this evolve over time? Where do you see this going down, like going years ahead? Yeah, I think personal uh, vehicles that fly are, gonna, are real. You can actually use this as a personal vehicle to fly right now. But I think as it develops, it'll move into a more mosaic as a new platform that's out by the FAA. And just being able to be a multi-passenger vehicle that's not an ultralight, where you will be required to get some certification, we see this growing into that. We also see it maybe even shrinking into something smaller. So you look like you're a, a, a basically a booming startup, like people are doing everything everywhere here. Uh, what, what's it like working here every day? Uh, it's a lot of fun, um, but it is a lot of work because we take uh, very seriously this vehicle. It has all the redundancies in it that any aircraft has that goes into the public. In fact, probably even more redundancies. Um, this, I believe, is the safest ultralight on the market. Um, and it's personal belief, but uh, because of multi-flight computers, independent control systems in six uh, different areas, the batteries being independent, we, we take it very seriously. It's a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of serious work. We want to make sure everybody's as safe as possible. And you've got a wall of photos here. What is it that everyone's sitting in your vehicle? Uh, this is something you probably won't see anywhere else. We actually have a lot of people that are mere mortals, not pilots, that are flying this vehicle on a daily basis. These have all flown it? These people have all flown the recon. And so uh, you'll be added to this wall as well. And, uh, you know, we'll have a lot more people joining this, the ranks of people flying it. 
Well, I'll be interested in keeping track of your company. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is Chuck Martin in Mason, Ohio.